Hey guys, Fast from uh, X Force again. Now today I've got one. I've done a similar one in the past. This is a sort of a oldie but a newie, and it's the P90, but in pink. And this is the version three. So what's new, you say? Other than being pink. So our version two is our tan and our black one. All right, same, same, except two different things. So let's have a look inside firstly and show you what we're talking about. So version two comes packed as is. Gel blaster. You got your uh, safety glasses, scope, battery. Now it comes with a 7.4. These particular ones you can go to an 11, uh, and I'll show you what I'm running in there. Charger and a tip. I've got some really cool um, hop ups coming for them in pink again. And um, so the difference is. Because I know, look, personally, I'm not a huge fan of the P90, to me it's too short. I got it for my kids, they're really good, they're built like a brick, really strong. Uh, you can drop these things, you can hit somebody over the head, you'd probably knock them out. But, in the V2, one of the things that sort of annoyed me, and one thing was this magazine, right? now. You can kind of see here, there's, there's two rails here. Those are filled. So you basically, your gels only go between here. So you've got a really small amount of space. Now when you fill it up, you've got to fill it up through there. Little door. And then basically by the time you fill it up with gels, the spring will push them to about there. So you've got very little amount of gels in there. So that was one of the things that was a bit shit. Uh, the other thing, internally, the gearbox was not the greatest. Um, it was a ABS plastic gearbox, um, and it had issues with upgrades and all the rest. So, V3. Pink, yes, there's a black one coming, so just chill for the guys that do can't do the pink. Um, now, the, one of the first things you're going to notice is the mag. So the mag difference is that rail has been taken out. You can see that. See the pink one has no rails, that one's got those rails on the sides there. So all of a sudden now the capacity is full mag. Also there's no side latch so your little latch door is gone your gels are going to fill through there. So you put your, uh, your spring back, you fill through there. So you basically, it's a lot easier, you don't have to sit there, open up a latch, break the door, bang. You get your speed loader, stick it in that hole, fill it up, off you go. Uh, Mac capacity now is probably one of the largest out of the gel blasters. So, uh, yeah, not the greatest looking mag uh, in pink, but it does the job. Now, the other thing, internally, they have now gone with a full nylon gearbox and full nylon gears. Um, very upgradable. Also, if we take the tip off, you can kind of see there it's got a pink metal barrel. Alright, so metal barrel uh, comes a standard uh, with the new box. Nylon gears, nylon gearbox. Now, for the guys that want to do a little bit more, we've done a little bit of uh, messing around with it. The nylon gears are great, but they're not the same quality as your Jing Ming. A Jing Ming gear, nylon gears for the Gen 8 are better quality. So if you want to put a spring, upgrade it, get more, a bit more power out of it, swap your gears for the Jing Ming Gen 8 gears. Um, they will last longer, otherwise this nylon gears is a, is a lesser quality nylon, they will strip. Uh, 
So if you want to get a bigger spring, uh, like a 1.3, get the Jingming nylon gears in there. Um, Alright, otherwise, this thing is solid, very easy to use. Um, I got it for kids, a couple of ladies got it out of the box. Let me tell you guys, I have been playing around with it quite a bit. It is one of the best, hear me out, one of the best out of the box. Um, it's now up there, and I hate to say it, it's up there with the wells, just about. It's kicking ass through the J9, Gen 8, all the rest. Uh, the wells, when I did do it, it was around one, uh, 265, 270. This thing's around 260 to 270 as well. Uh, there or thereabouts. Straight out of the box, no mods. Um, so, yeah. I mean, great CQB. Not exactly great for dark games, I guess, uh, if you want to hide. Uh, but, bloody hell, you know, you can still knock them dead with it uh, when you run out of gels. So, um, there's not a lot more difference than the V2. I know a lot of you guys probably did have them, have seen them. Um, but, obviously, the differences that I've pointed out, to me, they're pretty major, and I think they've address some of the issues that was the V2 and it was a bit disappointing because everybody was expecting big things out of the P90s uh, so black version should I believe it's already out but should be hitting our shores in the next month or so um, or thereabouts so one thing so you still got your rubber uh, your rubber end there pretty nice and comfy that it comes off just make sure it doesn't come off when you lose it so these again still do nothing uh, now um, and yep yeah, so here you've got your safety you're on and off yep same thing so I'm, just for the people that haven't seen it uh, you know what's going on there's no there's no priming with this it's just shoot off it goes now the battery goes in there now like I said the little 7.4 volt Excuse me, that's my uh, phone. So, the little 7.4 volt doesn't do it justice. So, if you want to run an 11, you can run a little one. Uh, it'll also take the ACR batteries that we've seen around, or um, I use, oh, yes, yeah, and we take that one out. I use a bigger one. It's a little bit more of a bastard to get out, um, but if you can get these ones in, you're not going to have to take them out too often. You can charge them in there, just this particular one. So these are the, the ones that we sell for the M4 buffer tubes. Uh, they're a 1200 milliamp, 11 volt batteries. One of these will last you in here probably the full day if you're not too trigger happy. Uh, if not, uh, it'll do you a good, you know, three hours or so uh, quite easily. But this 11 volt does punch out some uh, some pretty fast sort of numbers. So uh, for anybody that wants to go and play, if it's just a backyard, 7.4 is fine. If you want to go play and really be competitive on the field, that 11 is going to do the trick so oh yeah <laughs> all right so that's pretty much from me in regards to external internal uh, off the top of my head I can't really think of anything else but let's go give it a bit of a whirl on our uh, shooting range and see how it really does all right so we're uh, here at our shooting range so Around about 12 odd meters with the pink P90 version 3. Alright, so I'm just going to chuck. Now I've got some of our new gels for those guys that know we've got some new gels. And I'm going to run with our X Force Golds. Now some guys are saying they're yellow. They are yellow, gold, yellow, same shit. But you know, nobody wants to deal with, you know, 
a whole bunch of piss. So I said I'll go with gold, right? All right, so let's. And you see, it's quite easy to fill with the new system. So once you've let go of the spring, you've got a fair bit of, you know, that's a fair, fair few gels in there. I don't know on the numbers. I ain't gonna sit there and count, uh, but I'd say I'd say easily 200, which is definitely largest by far mag uh, out there. Could probably put some more, but. Uh, yeah, that'll do us. All right, so our target, we're gonna go, obviously there's no semi, so we're just gonna go full auto on it. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that, the spread there was probably around about 30 odd centimeters uh, I was I might have hit a couple of them out of that black circle majority were in the black and all around that little orange one um, so groupings really good uh, exceptionally good actually out of this little beast um, now let's run it through the crown I'm just gonna put a few more gels in there show you guys what you're missing out on <laughs> all you M4 players um, that you're upgrading your M4s and your HKs check out the pink pin only alright so let's through Uh, I'm not going to do too many, but it's very, very consistent. We've got 265, 261, 63, 65, 61. Uh, it averaged at 257. Maybe it had one that just burst or something. I would call it 263. Uh, anyway, 260s. No modification, straight out of the box, 260s. Uh, I've shot, you know, you can probably try other gels, it might do better. I'm quite sure we, I don't know, I might have tried with orange or something slightly bigger. Uh, the, these yellows, one that we got now, the golds, uh, I think they're about 7.3-ish. Um, bit hard to bloody measure them. But, you know, very consistent, very good numbers, uh, shooting well. As we can see, the the grouping's really good. Um, this is now probably right up there, one of the best gel blasters. As much as I know, I'm gonna say it. I hate it <laughs> in pink, uh, and it's small. Uh, yeah, it's kicking us out of the box. So, um, yeah, anybody that wants a good blaster. That's definitely one to go for. So the chicks now can be competitive without needing to upgrade. If you're going to places like Donnybrook, uh, places where they've got the FPS limit, this thing straight out of the box, you can you don't have to worry about it. You're already competitive. Uh, Distance-wise, like I said, we've got a hop-up that's going to go right on the front, which looks exactly like the tip. It's going to go right on the front, which will give you that extra distance. Um, and for the price, I think we're selling them for about 180 bucks. Yeah, you really can't go wrong. It's basically an upgraded blaster for the price of, you know, most M4s of the lower range. Anyway, that's all from me, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and, yeah, don't do anything stupid. Thank you.